Last time on my big ass object show, the Robo Dude and Poms picked their teams, the Armless Cheerleaders and Team Robo. After a totally surprising elimination, Cocoon and that annoying robot thing got out. In our last challenge, Team Robo absolutely washed the armless cheerleaders, but the robot dude took the fattest of L's. Now Button, Cell, the Outlet Twins, and Shuriken are up for elimination, and that's what you missed on my big ass object show. Are you trying to get disqualified? No, but I need that vote pass. Look, have you seen our team recently? You're the fourth worst member on our team. Hmm, I never thought of it that- Hey! Don't worry, I'm sure the viewers will never get tired of you. Yeah, I hope so. Why does Cotton Swap do these things to herself? I mean, it certainly doesn't surprise me. Yesterday, I saw her trying to sneak into the infirmary to try and steal our captain's vote card. No shock that arm thing caught her and gave her a swift beatdown. Some alliance this turned out to be. No. No. No! I had this terrible dream. I was on this terrible reality show, and an annoying robot beat constantly and... Shoot. Die. We'll see if you die at tonight's elimination. Ah! Hums, where are you? You're still not over it? <laughs> no. <sighs> You've been crying for three days straight. Besides, T-Pain said he can fix the robot guy. But it's T-Pain! Oh, yeah. Well, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Yeah, maybe you're right. Ah oh, yeah, we did it. We fixed the robot dude. Actually, you just put me on a bucket with wheels. Arm, why didn't you rebuild his robot suit? You want a five-star hotel and champagne and caviar for breakfast? <laughs> I gotta cut somewhere. Shoot, dog, you right. So, can I go now? Yeah, yeah, whatever. So what's your name again? It's Lava. Okay, cool. Okay, gang, it's time for the elimination. I don't want to go home. I have too many body pillow to win. Wait, you want body pillows as your wish? Tomate kudasai, samono karaba, watashi wa anata o sashimatsu. We got 66 votes, which is more than last time. If I call your name, you're safe. Shuriken, you're safe with only three votes. Muchas gracias. Wait, that's not Japanese. Outlet twins, you're also safe with 12 votes. I just want to go home! Our bottom two this time is between Button and Cell. Button, you lost miserably to Dina last challenge. She caught me off guard, that's all. And Cell, so, uh... You tried your best. The last Iced Out Tea Pain Award goes to... Button, with 17 votes. Thank God! Cell, you were my favorite contestant out here, but with 34 votes, you're eliminated. You'll be sorely missed by the recommended characters. At least no one left on our team. Cell didn't do anything. So who got out? Team Robo, get a good look at the armless cheerleaders. Cell was voted off. 
In hindsight, I should have seen that coming. Also, Team Robo, please welcome back your Captain Lava. Hello. Hi, everyone. Are you okay? Do you have any broken bones, fractured organs, internal bleeding? Band aid, calm yourself. I'm fine. I just. I have to get used to this new contraption. Oh, well, I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> okay, loser. Head to the infirmary. Welcome, Final Eleven, to your next challenge, the Cookathon. You guys will be in three pairs of two, and you will cook three meals for our special judges. First, we have iconic BFDI camp contestant Kevin and his boyfriend Scott. No, 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 no. We don't talk about him. But uh, hi, everyone. It's great to be here. Our next judge is one of my personal inspirations in life, Bubble T. Hey, this ain't the mall. I want a refund. Don't we all? Wait, who are you? I am the third judge. Wow, Luigi hat. <laughs> the last judge will be yours truly. Whichever team gets the most points from the judges will win. The team with the highest score will both get vote cards. Ready, set, go. Alright guys, I have a plan. You've had enough grand ideas for one day, sweetheart. I think I should run this challenge. Fine. Team, it's no secret that everyone loves dessert, right? I love the desert. Cactuses go hard with sand. Right. I was thinking we could go with a dessert theme. Dreamy and beer? You wanna cook the cake? <laughs> Dreamy! <laughs> oh, I was just vibing, man. Lava and Band-Aid, can you cook us some cinnamon buns? Also, make sure that Dreamy and Beer don't act like... Dreamy and Beer. Roger that. DNA and I will bake some bakies. Don't you mean... Uh, cookies? No, you do not cook cookies, you bake them. This is basic terminology. You'll understand when you're older. Okay team, let's get to work. Well, I give up. Time to drown in the toilet. With everyone, I have an amazing idea. We make sushi. That's a good idea, actually. That's a dumb idea. Oh, oh, oh. Bum and bums, you make a donut. I mean rice balls. But and I will make fine sushi. Then what are we gonna make? Uh, what can you make? We can make a meat bowl of ramen. Okie dokie, let us win for sale. For sale. Instant! Huh, alright. Ah! Ow! What was that for? You're not preparing the sushi. You will start over. But we have 30 minutes left. It must be perfect. You do not want to upset my ancestors, do you? Th no? Then good cooking! Watch out! 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 I think that the topping should be chocolate. No, I think they should be sprinkles. But everyone loves chocolate. Chocolate is overrated. She likes sprinkles more than chocolate? Who says that? How about this? We do one side with chocolate and the other side with sprinkles and we'll see what the judges like more. Fine. Band-Aid, you're back. How's your arm? This won't hurt a bit. It'll hurt a whole lot. <laughs> well, time to get back to cooking. Yeah. Okay, time is up. Now, let's begin with the armless cheerleaders. We have Japanese sushi theme. We made you rice balls. Rice balls? Honey, these look like little donuts. What she said. These are pretty scrumptious. I'll give it an eight. Girl, I give it a six. Seven. Next up is Lava and Band-Aid. Our theme is dessert theme. We have cinnamon buns. They look kind of burnt. Oh, uh, yeah. I wonder how that happened. They remind me of the sins of my past. I give it a six. Five. Four is fine. Next is the Outlet Twins. What's this? Be flavored. I used to be on that ramen struggle. I give it a seven. Same. Hmm, four. Dina and Gonswab, your turn. 
We've made you some bakies. Just say cookies. Cookies! My side has chocolate chip. And my side has sprinkles. <laughs> this tastes awful. This tastes like it was cooked in a microwave. You trying to feed that to me? Have some respect for the judges. We... Okay, for the culture, we'll have Beer Dreamy go up next. Wow, that cake looks pretty good. We might make a comeback. Oh! Bruh, y'all really clowning today. You've got cream on my makeup. Way not cool. Please, not again. Zero. Zilch. Shuriken and Button, make this quick. My apprentice Button has perfectly cooked this Japanese inspired sushi. Well, after that last disaster, this better be good. Wait, you must use these chopsticks. Holy crap, this tastes amazing. Girl, I love Chinese food. Give me your recipe. It's been so long since I've had good food. Ten. Ten. With a score of 69 to 30, the armless cheerleaders have won the challenge. Yeah. I told you chocolate chips were better. Cotton, just, just shut up. It should come to no surprise that Shuriken and Button get the T-Pain vote cards. Sweet! Team Robo, one of you will be going home. Do any of us get immunity? Are you kidding me? Nah, fam. All of you were trash this challenge. Girl, did we win? The desert in difference today. Viewers, vote in the Google Doc below one person that you think should be eliminated. The person with the most votes will finna leave the show. Hey, Arm, do you remember me, Ken? Do I look like Gwen to you? Wait, what? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure to donate to the Patreon. And if you don't, I'm gonna lose it!